quit my job. I was working on space stations, artificial gravity space stations to be exact, and I quit. I quit, I quit. It's not like there's nothing going on in the space industry. That's absolutely not what's happening. It's that there's so much going on. Is this uh, Joe Falcon? Today, NASA announced the crew of Artemis II. The dawn of a new era in space exploration. And what I've realized is that we, the space industry, are really bad about sharing our narrative. But for the future of humanity, it is imperative that we figure out a way to communicate the value of what we're doing to people outside of the industry and intercut. Okay, so this is normally where that little intro thing would go. Um, I don't have that yet, so bear with me. Okay, let's back up for a minute. So I'm an aerospace engineer and I have worked on the coolest space missions. I worked on Orion, which is the spacecraft that's sending humanity back to the moon. Then I spent some time working on literal gas stations in space, so refueling satellites so that we don't just throw them away when we run out of gas. And most recently, I was working on artificial gravity space stations, which are going to help astronauts live and work long-term in space without the detrimental side effects of zero gravity, like uh, brain damage and bone loss. Now, in addition to working in the industry, for the past four years, I have been creating short form content about space. You might have seen me on TikTok and Instagram. And I always wanted to create long form content because, and if you've been following me for a while, you definitely know this, but I have a lot to say. But unfortunately, it just wasn't in the cards for me while I was working in the industry. And I just couldn't see myself not working on those missions directly. But then last March, everything changed. In March of 2023, Patagonia launched a global campaign called Not Mars, We're in the Business of Saving Our Home Planet. And this was everywhere. It was in Times Square, it was at South by Southwest, and they've even hosted follow-up events, one I found as recent as December of 2023, in which they bring together a bunch of like really cool climate scientists and talk about this theme. Now you might be thinking, what's the problem? Like, obviously we wanna save our home planet. Obviously Mars should not be the end's destination, right? And yes, absolutely, I agree with you. All of that is 100% true, but the problem with this campaign and others like it, because it's not the only one by any means, is that they completely undermine the value that space technology and exploration have for humanity and life on Earth. Because you see, space technology impacts our lives on a daily basis. Let's look at a few examples. Did you know that more than 50% of essential climate variables that help us understand and combat our climate change issues are measurable only from space? We measure everything from individual oil and gas leaks to ocean temperatures and ice melt over time. To put it another way, we fundamentally would not be able to combat climate change to the extent that we are without satellites. Every time you open Google Maps on your phone, you are connecting to GPS satellites, four to be exact. But GPS satellites don't just help me find the nearest coffee shop when I need a caffeine fix. They also are really critical in things like aiding in disaster relief or helping with precision agriculture, which means more food for all of us. And also, did you know that our entire global financial system is dependent on GPS satellites? There are so many spin-off technologies that were either created for or enabled by the space industry. For example, the water filtration and purification system that we use on the International Space Station it was actually created for the ISS. It's what astronauts like they pee in and then it uh, turns into water that they drink. We've been able to repurpose that and bring it to parts of the world that don't have access to clean water and give them clean water for the first time. And all of this is just scratching the surface, but space has a really, really bad reputation right now. Now, we have billionaire entrepreneurs racing to send their friends into space. Elon Musk even sent a freaking Tesla out there. The effects that these launches have on the planet. And oh boy, Houston, we do have a problem. The general sentiment is that space is a waste of time and resources and we should be fixing the problems we have here on Earth before we venture into space. Or space is just a billionaire's playground and all these rich people are gonna go to space and leave the rest of us behind on this planet that has a lot of climate change problems. Or launching things to space is only and really bad for our planet. And to be completely honest, I don't blame people for thinking these things at all because the space industry itself is doing a really horrible job at communicating the value of the things we're putting into space. Space marketing and communications is so focused on the what that the why is often overshadowed or just completely ignored. We're so focused on telling the story of 
what hunk of metal are we building into a satellite? And look at all these really cool technical specs of the satellite that's launching into orbit on said rocket. It's almost never, why are we building this? What value does it bring to humanity? How is it going to improve life for us here on Earth, even if we're talking about a Martian rover? People don't connect with technical specs. And actually, if you're not a rocket scientist, you probably don't even know what these technical specs are, which is a whole other conversation about a high barrier to entry into this industry that we'll talk about in a later video. But people do connect with the, the why, the, the human aspect of it. Does it help us combat climate change? Does it bring me GPS to my phone so I'm always connected and I can use my credit card anywhere I want to? These types of things are what people connect with. Now back to Patagonia. Here we have this large, global, very recognizable brand whose entire thing is environmentalism and sustainability. And they're criticizing space, the exact thing that's enabling a lot of these sustainability and climate change initiatives that we have today. I mean, did you know that that Earthrise photo, that, that brilliant photo we've all seen of the Earth rising over the moon on Apollo 8, is credited with starting the environmentalist movement. Not only does this campaign actually undermine Patagonia's own initiatives, but in fact, it can have long-term implications for the space industry that we're probably not even seeing yet when it comes to funding and talent and public support and political reform, which in turn affects humanity and life on Earth as we've already started to see in this video and we'll dive more into in this channel. And again, it's not just Patagonia by any means. And I don't blame this, this perception of the industry because honestly, it's what the space industry is putting out there. It's the narratives that we're sharing or lack thereof. And that's why I quit. Thank you so much for watching this video and for following along. Be sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you next week.